BD5 pilot with you, and I did make it back on Saturday. It's Saturday uh, just before sundown. I've got a few more hours to go, but I'm going to use this last bit of light to take care of something. In fact, if you notice behind me, plane's not in the hangar. It's sitting out in front of the hangar, and we're getting ready to uh, put those jacks under it so I can do the magnetometer interference test. And then if that pans out, we're going to take and push it all the way over to that little transient area, some 40 feet away from anything metal. All the way down there. So I'm going to get, I'm going to eat my Wheaties this morning. So uh, we're going to go see how this goes. Now, if you haven't already guessed, the reason for all this is part of that test requires me to put the gear up. So we're going to find out. Doesn't that look sleek? Almost looks like it's flying. All right, that's going to that's going to work and not give me any trouble. So I'm going to hop in, power things up and uh, let you see what a magnetometer interference check looks like on a Jarman G3X. So we're powering things up, holding that button down so we go into uh, configuration mode. And there we go. And there's my paper that tells me what I'm supposed to do at each point, but I think I think it guides me through too. We're about to find out. So let's go into that magnetometer. We don't have the magnetometer orientation set, so obviously we kind of need to need to do that. And it has the connector forward, and it is within three degrees. It's a note. And then now we've got to do this test. Make sure the aircraft is able to exercise all electronic devices on the wing, fuselage, flaps, lights, beacons. We have to run the gear. And so, and ensure it stays stationary. So let's hit. So right now we've got, looks like a little bit of stuff in there. So our first thing to do, we took the aileron full right. Aileron full, and leave it there to the 22nd mark, and then aileron full left. And then at the 32nd mark, we'll go aileron level. And then at 40 seconds, we're going to go elevator full up. Fifty seconds we'll go elevator full down. And then at the one minute mark we're gonna go to elevators level. You can see how I'm getting this little funny little deviation that periodically happens there. The minute and twenty seconds we're gonna go rudder left. So there's rudder full left. And when we get to a minute and 40 seconds, we're going to go to rudder full right. And there we're going to go full right. We do that until the 150 mark. And then we'll go back to centered. So now we're centered. At the two minute mark, we're gonna drop those flaps. And there the flaps are down. Two minutes and 10, we're gonna go flaps up. And then I've gotta turn the alt, the autopilot on. I just did. So 2.30, we'll go autopilot off. 
don't hear any noises. And that says autopilot off just from the controls. I'm not sure if it's doing it though. All right, the 40 second mark, we're gonna the landing gears up. down at the three minute mark we don't have speed brakes so three and three ten we're gonna ignore gotta get this over here so I can change my positioning so I can get my switches on and there at 310 that was for speed breakdown navigation lights go on at 320 try to keep that sun off of here my nav lights are on. 3.30, we'll turn them off. And our next one is going to be landing lights. We'll turn those on. Landing lights are on. At 3.50, they'll go off. Four minute mark, the taxi lights will go on. So there's taxi lights on. Four ten, we're gonna go to taxi lights off. Our next one was to turn landing and taxi lights on together. I don't have that, but I do have those recognition lights. That's what I'm gonna turn on at that 420 because that actually turns all of those on. There's our recognitions on. That'll last till the 30 minute, 30 mark, 30 second mark. All right. Then I turn the strobes on. The 440 mark. That was a little bit early. The 450. Strobes go off. And it wants a recognition on. I already did those. Well, we'll do wig wags. And the 510, we'll turn those off. And at the 520 mark, we're just going to turn everything on. There, there's everything I can get going at once. That sun's just creating the glare at the right time, isn't it? And there we can turn everything off at the mark. Actually, 540, we're supposed to turn the beacon on. There's the beacon on. 550. That goes off. And that's the end of the stuff that I can uh, I can check. I don't have the pedo heat. 620 is the end of the test. So when we're done, it says hit the end. And there, worst case, 70% of limit at 525. And we passed. So now we're going to push the plane out and do the magnetometer calibration. I'm going to make sure the gear's down. See you soon. All right, I've made sure my path is clear. Let's go get the uh, workout and push the aircraft out to that place to do the magnetometer calibration. I needed music for that uh, fast motion taxi out to the handmade compass rose yes i made the compass rose we don't have one here that i know of it hillsboro portland hillsboro i looked but i read and this is the way you're supposed to do it i think i'm going to move the plane over a little bit and i've got this for finding my north being within five degrees of it and then we'll go through the menu of the plane as it tells me real different to see the plane sitting out like this really not used to that but overall 
really cool. So according to my best estimate, I've got this puppy pointing north. And so let's go in and start up that configuration sequence again. See what happens. So we'll bring up that magnetometer again. Now, got to do this test, magnetometer calibration. We're going to start, hold the current position. We're pointed north. Understand it's just going to have me start turning. All right, I'm not going to eat up tape. There we go. Turn right slowly. There, hold current position. And so that's how that's going to work. All right, I've got another turn right slowly. There we go, full position. So I've been moving through the positions. And I'm going to turn right again. And I'm not videotaping all of these, by the way. So I'm going to turn it some more. We're getting near the end. I think this is going to be my last one. This looks like I'm going to be pointing back the direction I was. We'll see if it has me keep doing this. But that's what it looks like to do a magnetometer calibration with a G3X. And it says done and success. All right. So now curiosity question is if we go out of here and we save everything and reboot what's my display going to look like when it comes back up Good. It says my angle of attack isn't calibrated, but got everything else. And I imagine I do have uh, synthetic vision. It's just not going to show us anything on the ground here. All right, folks. That's working now. Pretty excited. Now I get to push it back home and get another workout. Should check my heart rate. All right, she's back nested in her home, but we're going to see if I can do one more test before calling it a night. You know, I may not be flying this yet, but uh, this is pretty exciting stuff. Now, the instructions tell me to hit the uh, autopilot, well, the heading roll soft key on the PFD. Huh. Hit that. All right, that sets me up for that. And that thing's already moving on me, so that doesn't appear to be what I want to do. So let's see if this instruction will tell me better what to do. All right, that looks better. We're going to hit the autopilot and then tell this heading to turn. And does this do something to that stick? 
sure it doesn't look like it. Let's bump it a little. Well, it's actually it's stiff. It's not doing anything. But I'm not sure it's doing what I want it to. So I'm going to be doing a little more research on that autopilot, make sure I'm doing things right. I might have to uh, turn the, uh, the the strength of it up a little bit just because of the way it's uh, mounted. It, it looks like it actually has a little bit of a difficult push to do for that roll. So I'll, uh, I'll get on that and uh, be making another video soon. In the meantime, then it'll keep with all the lights on. 85 pilots out for now.